and a very good morning. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sign up for a Microsoft for Students or Azure for Students free account. Now, please understand that in order to do this, your educational institution most likely is going to need to have an association with Microsoft in order for this to happen. Now, if you notice, I'm just out at Google and I'm doing a Google search for Azure for Students. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And the top result, Azure for Students free account credit. So again, it depends on your school. You might be able to do this without. You're definitely going to need a .edu. Now, if you notice, that brings me to the page, Start Building the Future with Azure for Students. I'm going to activate now. Now, this is going to take me out to a login screen. And the information I'm going to use is a username and password that is associated with my institution. Thus, it ends in .edu. Now, I'm going to pause this video while I put it in uh, just so you don't see what account I'm using. Now, I want to point out that our institution uses what's called a single sign-on. Thus, it's asking me to authenticate into our network so that it can automatically associate this for me. Outside of the network, you're most likely going to get the next screen, which is going to ask you for a password, and then it's going to go ahead and create the account for you. I will pause again while I put in this information. At this point, you should get to this screen. Now, I've blurred out the content so that you don't see what username, password, email, and phone I'm going to use. Uh, you would want to complete this in its entirety and then choose Next. I'll pause while I do that. At this point, it'll go ahead and take you to the next screen where you're going to need to identify yourself by phone. Thus, what you'll do is you'll put in a valid phone number. And in my case, I will choose text me. Once you receive the text, you'll go ahead and put in the verification code and click verify code. So this will bring up the agreement. You're definitely going to want to review the agreement, you know, clicking on these links here will open up the agreement for you to read. I highly suggest that you read through this agreement and other details so that you understand what it is you're accepting. Always a good practice. Here's the last one. So just make through, sure that you read through these. At that point, you'll go ahead and click here and choose sign up. This step may take a couple minutes. It seemed to be rather slow as I created this video. Once it does create, you should be able to see uh, the Welcome to Azure. You can start the tour if you'd like. I'm going to choose maybe later, and it will walk you through here. At this point, you successfully completed a Microsoft Azure for Student instance. You'll want to go through, look at your benefits. You have wonderful benefits here to create virtual machines, to do programming, to do some pretty amazing stuff within Azure. In the next video, I'll talk about what it is that you get in the way of software through your Microsoft Azure account. Take care.